So I just had a flashback episode. It was just one flashback after another. I used my anxiety rabbit to calm me down because of the ears. This is little bunny, he's a lifesaver. I do have two of them. But one hasn't got a magnet in its hand. PTSD sucks. <laughs> probably wondering why I got a cup of milk. I got a cup of milk because it's already it's really cold on my mouth and it's a way of grounding myself after having an episode. I'm still really shaken from the episode that I had. I haven't had one that bad in a while. I have nightmares every night but I can live with that. PTSD is just hard to live with and I wish I could explain why it's so hard but I don't know how to. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family, turn notifications on and make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it really helps me out. Today I wanted to talk about PTSD. The obvious two that are hard about PTSD are flashbacks and nightmares. They're the two main horrible parts of PTSD. But there are a lot of parts that are also bad when it comes to PTSD. Dissociation, panic attacks, insomnia. PTSD is a horrible diagnosis and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. In the beginning of the video you saw an aftermath of a panic attack caused by a flashback. When I have flashbacks in the day, they affect me in so many ways. I can't move. I feel like I'm stuck. It's partly why I spend so much time in bed because I just don't feel able to do anything. So if I have a flashback, I'll freeze up. PTSD is just a hard diagnosis to deal with. And I've never done trauma therapy. I've done self help trauma therapy. I've done self help therapy for PTSD. But I've never had therapy for it because I've always been too unstable. I think I'm at a point in my life now where I, ne I need to do therapy for it because it's taken over my life. I hate it when I dissociate as well. When I dissociate, I dissociate from everything. My body doesn't feel like it's my own. Things move into shapes, like shapes change. So say this rectangle water bottle, which is quite cool by the way, if it's in, if it's in every handbag. It's, it's just a cool size. But when I think, see things like the water bottle, it changes shape. When I dissociate, it is hard to function. So dissociation is one thing that I struggle to deal with. Again, I've never had any support in dealing with it. I've just been left on my own to deal with it. The only support I've ever had with it has been when I've been in hospital. Flashbacks, why are they hard? I think it's pretty obvious why they're hard to flash back you're going back to a traumatic event that you don't want to go back to.
what the fuck was I talking about? Thanks for watching, I guess. See you in my next video. Peace.